All right, come on in, hit the like button, think that's subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 film, Netflix, Netflix specifically original film called Heart of Stone, starring Gal Gadot and Bollywood actress Alina Bahat, Hollywood's debut to this film. Now here's a plot, an intelligence operative for a shadowy global peacekeeping agency races to stop a hacker from stealing its most valuable and dangerous weapons. Here is some of the gas. So this is pretty much a female James Bond meets Cinderella. Uh, if you haven't seen that uh, or heard of that series, I, I, I did a review on it. Go check it out. You can, I think it's like 20 away or something. Um, but instead of number code names, they have playing card code names like the film called Can You See Me Now? I believe that's what they had the code names were, which makes sense because um, they're magicians in that. Uh, so they use kind of poker cards, um, like they did in this for names. The snowy white filter they used was jet distracting for me personally, made it somewhat bright and slightly pixelated. Anyone else noticed that was with a lot of Netflix films past couple of years, or at least a year and a half. I noticed it, or at least with the brightness white filter at least, not the, necessarily the pixel part, but I have noticed that in a couple of films I've watched. There's the white filter with kind of, if you look real closely, it has, or uh, from a distance, it kind of has a pixel stuff to it. Um, the score at times was way too loud for me personally, overlapping the dialogue audio. I've been noticing that with a lot of films as well, along with them being super dark. Past couple years, I'm definitely on that one. Um, honestly, the first 40 minutes or so, I wasn't feeling the story or the mood. But it does start to get interesting and got me invested after that specific time frame. However, despite it having good action scenes and having a kind of new story to the spy game, I personally thought it was just okay. Same with the Bollywood actress and Gal Gadot and most of the cast, to be honest. Although Gal Gadot had a couple great dialogue scenes towards the end, but overall I thought it wasn't enough to me the, the, to say, hey, she's a great actress. I think she's looks the part, acts the part when it came to Wonder Woman. Uh, I think she did a good, a uh, decent job, but it's it's a comic book film, so I kind of personally have just kind of low standards for that when it comes to acting in those films. So this would be more having more of a little bit of a high expectations, and she didn't really fill it out than me personally. Um, it, when the came to the Bollywood actress, it was honestly when they when the actress or actor has a thick accent, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, like really, really thick. She has a thick Indian accent, and it was really hard to fully, uh, for me personally, tell if she was doing a great job. It does seem like she was doing. A good job, but again, it's just hard for me when they have a thick a accent, and I know they have they can't control that technically, but um, yeah. So here's my rating. So what are your thoughts on this film? I honestly wasn't really impressed. Had its moments, but that's really it for me personally. Um, so yeah, I really want to know your thoughts down below, what your guys' thoughts. It's been a while since, or at least a week before it came out, because I had a lot of uh, problems behind the scenes for me personally, so I couldn't get around to doing this, or even doing it if I wanted to. Um, but I'm hoping tomorrow I feel this energized, this very happy, and I can get around to doing a film that's coming out on iTunes called... Uh, Bloodshot, and it's not related to the DC Universe Bloodshot, unfortunately, but it's it's very interesting type of piece. It's from what it seems. Even though I didn't check out the trailer, I read the synopsis and kind of looked at it, and yeah, it looks interesting. So we'll see tomorrow if I do it, and we'll see if it's good. But in the meantime, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe, spread the love, most importantly, Skull.